News, first at 10. The state wrestling season came to an end this past weekend with the crowning of champions from around Pennsylvania. Fox 56 Sports Director Bob Ide was on hand as our area took home gold. Eight boys and one girl competed for a state wrestling championship Saturday in Hershey. At 145 pounds, Reagan Milheim became Warrior Run's first state champ since 2006 with a 3-1 win over fellow District 4 wrestler Mason Barbitki from Southern Columbia. The sophomore gets a point with just four seconds left and takes home gold. Yeah, I knew I could go in there and get my get to my hard hand fight there. Just tire him down and then get my escape there in the third period and then get to my attack. So I know I could finish on him, so let's get to my attack late in third. It was a special night for the Herrer family from Montgomery. Sophomore Brandt got his 100th career win and became a state champ at 133 pounds, giving his father and coach, Denny, a big hug after the win. Then his brother, Connor, became a three-time state champ with his 4-3 win at 160 pounds. A uh, great day. I mean, they work for it. They deserve it. Um, this is what it's all about. You know, we're really excited. There's too many emotions going on to sum it up with one word. Just me and my brother have been dreaming of this day since we were young, man. To be able to do this with my dad, family, coaches, everyone in the stands, in a packed gym like this and be able to win state titles together, it means everything. Um, I'm so grateful for it. I loved every second of it, and I'm just so happy. Next year, District 4's all-time leading wrestler will head to Rutgers. The brothers, though, have pushed each other to get better, and it's paid off. We're always having a competition, whether it's first one out of bed, first one to practice, last one out of practice. It's, it's nonstop. Without him, I wouldn't be here, and I love him so much, and I'm so grateful that I got to win a state title with him. Could you envision this, uh, you know, when they were young and having this experience here in Hershey? It's always been the goal. We've always worked for it, and today it happened. One of the final matches of the weekend featured Panther Valley's Brenda Banks. The undefeated sophomore was trying to get the first ever girls gold in the 5-7-0 area code. Banks needed a solid third period to beat the Southerton wrestler, getting a takedown with 103 left and hanging on for a 3-0 victory. I feel really proud of myself, really, really proud. And I worked really hard to get here and I'm really confident in my abilities. So I'm really excited to work towards next year and come back a third time or um, a second time. And I want to take first as much as I can. Bob Ide, Fox 56 Sports.